Good evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night. It's 10.14 p.m. California time here. August 20th, 2025. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 1.0 across Southern California. Also got uh, some further larger movement up there across the uh, Russia area. Still seeing a, quite a bit of aftershock activity out there today. Uh, also some movement way up in Alaska. So that's where we're going to start up here this evening. Got a little swarm of activity just west of Fairbanks here from a uh, looks like a 4.1 earthquake striking um, some distance here west of Fairbanks, Alaska. That earthquake was felt over there across the Fairbanks area. Not a big one, but this area is capable of producing some larger quakes. Got a number of larger faults down here to the south. It does look like Alaska on the uptick a little bit here today. Uh, with a, you can kind of see this little half circular type event here of earthquakes, indicative there of the pressure among the plate boundary. That's a major subduction zone here, the, the uh, Aleutian Trench. A lot of stress and strain resulting uh, with this earthquake activity right now. Uh, definitely keep an eye on that. It does look like there's uh, some decent swarming stirring up here around the area. Let's go over here and check out the. Uh, satellite view here real quick see what we have um it's down there about seven well, seven or eight miles or so some deeper earthquakes underneath the area as well and again that's just to the west of fairbanks we'll watch that area because it is uh, starting to uh, swarm out there as always uh, alaska is a big time earthquake state 2.5 model and above definitely uh pretty active out there all right let's go ahead and start uh, or head down to the Washington area number of earthquakes out here this one uh, 2.1 this morning 13 miles deep into the area I'm sure that's associated with the Cascadia tremor let's go check this out because we've had a quite a bit of Cascadia tremor activity in that area and today uh, is no exception there 320 epicenters mainly a good cluster there underneath the Vancouver Island ranges towards the southern end uh, where we're seeing that earthquake activity this morning so this earthquake about 13 miles underneath the area into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. The tremor activity a little bit deeper uh, underneath that area. But uh, we do have uh, quite a bit of tremor activity stirring up. Uh, we got, uh, what do we got, Mount Rainier? Nothing showing up here on the map. Let's just go double check that here real quick. And we'll check out the seismograph station here, see uh, if anything's going on. There's definitely an earthquake right here. It's a well-defined one. Not a big one, but it's definitely an earthquake, right? Looks like there's a couple out there. Um, quite a few in the afternoon as well. So those uh, obviously not being reported. They may get to them tomorrow. We'll have to check back there in the uh, morning update. Uh, across northern California, a couple earthquakes down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. 2.7 there, the latest. Six miles deep there and into the, uh, again, the southern end. Also some interesting quake activity here around Maxwell. That is a very shallow earthquake. Uh, the, the sea level out here, or at least the elevation, is about 66 feet or so um, here along this area of the Sacramento Valley. So that's a really shallow earthquake. Uh, let's see if that has been reviewed. It's underneath automatic status, so it has not been reviewed, but it does look like it was felt around the Chico area. I didn't feel it. Um, it looks like maybe a couple folks there reported feeling that earthquake. We'll have to check back in the morning, see if they review that, uh, that quake or not, because it's just kind of an odd area. Uh, let's see, Bay Area, pretty quiet. Just a couple smaller quakes, including one here in the last hour near Hollister. That is towards the southern end here of the Calaveras Fault. Uh, aside from that, Southern California out here, uh, pretty quiet. Got um, one earthquake there above 2.5 on the San Andreas Fault this morning. Since then, a number of smaller quakes out here, but really nothing of any uh, noteworthy value that I can see out here tonight. The movement stretching all the way up into Utah and also into Yellowstone. So let's see what's going on there. The latest last uh, reported earthquake is a 1.4 there just after noon so we better double check that from the Yellowstone uh, seismograph stations here which they are working here by the way the earthquake swarm happening up here this seismograph station 
doesn't even pick up anything. It's not showing any type of earthquake activity. That needs to be recalibrated there. This is the uh, the other closest station that's picking up the earthquake activity. The last one being reported there about 12 o'clock or so. Uh, there's a number of smaller ones there, but it looks like maybe the swarm may it might be dying down there. It wasn't a huge swarm, but uh, seen a pretty decent uptick there for a little while. Looks like maybe some wind out there earlier. All right, uh, out and about uh, oil fields out there, pretty active out there outside of Pecos, Texas. Got a pretty good swarm out there. Um, see what we got here on the map it is definitely within uh, the oil fields out here there's a wastewater pond um, a couple of them out there so quite active normally uh, when things are on the elevated side out here like we're seeing uh, tonight it means that the North American plate is on the move out here so that's might be a sign here to watch areas uh, west coast New Madrid seismic zone over here as well uh, speaking of that, there is one earthquake being reported there uh, last night, a little 2.1. A couple of smaller quakes out here around Tennessee, the latest there, uh, 1.6. That's actually down in South Carolina area, but nothing big going on there for now. Uh, Taking a look here at the last 24 hours of uh, earthquake activity. The largest event goes to a 5.1 there in the uh, cluster of aftershocks there across Russia. Also some further movement down here towards the southern end of the Kamchatka area. That's a uh, just a southern portion of the trench that did not rupture. That's got some mega quake potential as well. Got to watch out maybe for some migration here. There's been a number of earthquakes actually out there um, since the 8.8 .8 down across this region. So uh, it's been a little while since we've seen any mega quake activity out here. That 8.8 uh, .8 ruptured about a 500 kilometer length uh, segment up here of the Curl Kamchatka Trench. Not all the way down here, so that does have potential for some further large movement. Also an earthquake here around the uh, Japan area, south of Tokyo this evening. 4.7 earthquake. Got uh, yeah, Definitely got some adjustment happening up here. Watch that closely. Uh, the Andaman area, Andaman Sea region, up around Myanmar, a couple fours up there, nothing big. Uh, typical clustering out here in the crunch zone. I don't see any big earthquake activity, just uh, a mixed bag of uh, old and new earthquake activity, mainly fours in terms of the magnitudes. New Zealand, pretty quiet down there for now. I don't see anything showing up on the graph. Uh, Middle America Trench, pretty active, but that's... That's uh, fairly common on any given day. It does look a little bit more clustered, though. A lot of shallow activity stirring up there across the Middle America Trench, uh, all mainly in the 4 to 3 range. And the South America area, pretty quiet down there. Only a handful of smaller quakes, and a lot of those look to be on the older side. Uh, newer activity stirring up right now into the Mediterranean region, it looks like. Got some further activity around Turkey. 2.5 and a three-pointer out here. Definitely lighten up out here in the last hour or so. Uh, nothing big. Looks like the largest in this area. Uh, Going to be this 4.5. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Let's go check out the Kilauea Volcano, see if anything's uh, popping out there yet. We have to be getting close here. I said that last night, and uh, I was almost certain that we'd have that uh, eruption by now. Let's go check out the uh, Summit webcam. Still looks the same as last night there. Quite a bit of glowing going on from the uh, the heated area in that crater. Let's see what we got though for the uh, deformation data real quick. Yeah, kind of leveled out still. Um, yeah, we've actually surpassed the previous, you know, there was a, back on the episode 30 here, there was a little bit of deflationary uh, tilt going on before a gradual uptick in terms of inflation and then leading to the eruption. This one, though, is continuing to go down here, so got to watch that. Um, might be looking at maybe uh, a uh, migrationary event happening. Won't be certain until a couple days out, but it's possible we could see that uh, magma <coughs> activity down below. 
uh, take a detour somewhere. Definitely have to keep an eye on that. I don't see any uh, major earthquake movement out here. No, no signs of because uh, normally if there is some magma movement uh, going on down below the surface, we'll see it show up here. But I don't see anything uh, of any abnormal activity. But uh, we we'll definitely continue to watch that. All right, uh, let's see here. Space weather activity, real quick. And by the way, the member drawing got postponed till tomorrow. I apologize. I just I got my plate overloaded today. It was 100 and something degrees outside, and uh, it was just it was a crazy day. So we'll do that tomorrow for sure. Uh, a couple different prominences here: Earth facing one on the northern and southern area of the sun. Sometimes those blast off, similar to what we've seen um, early this morning and last night with that decent. Uh, Beautiful prominence eruption. I believe that's directed away from Earth. As um, far as any major flaring goes, we're down into the B7.8 B7 category. Not uh, looking at anything major going on. Uh, as far as these Earth-directed sunspots, there is a huge area back over here on the eastern limb. Uh, 4191. Kind of hard to tell how, you know, if it's uh, capable of producing anything stronger, but... Uh, well, watch that here in the coming days might be an area of interest for some uh, for some flaring that's uh, kind of in the area where that uh, prominence blasted off there one up in this area and then also one down south but for now the flare threat will remain fairly low at about 15 percent chance there for m flare x flare around one percent chance or so no major auroras in the forecast for now taking a look here at the uh Weather models out here. Let's get the latest information here on Hurricane Aaron, where we're looking at 100 and 110 mile per hour sustained winds here uh, with this hurricane. It is taking the north movement, starting to pick up speed a little bit at about 16 miles per hour. That will uh, pick up even more and head off to sea further out there into the Atlantic and uh, weekend at the same time. There is still a tropical storm warning up there along the coast here, North Carolina, Virginia area, it looks like as well. Uh, but it's not uh, it, not going to create any uh, major damage. I know there's some uh, uh, high tide, oh, some uh, waves out there, a lot of uh, higher waves than normal. Uh, but again, that could could have been worse. That could have been much closer to the area. But uh, yeah, let us shoot off. Let's see what we got behind that. Uh, as far as any further activity. There's that one hurricane out here. That's getting caught up back up in the uh, the patterns out there. Nothing uh, coming into the Gulf for now, or the eastern portion of the country, but we'll still keep a watchful eye out for it. Pacific Northwest, look at that. There's a couple different storms coming in there as we start September out. I would love to see that a little bit further south because it's just barely clipping Northern California here. Uh, it's going to be hot here in the next couple of days. It's supposed to be around 107, 108. We're underneath a heat advisory. So, yeah, not good. Definitely not good. All right, let's see here. What do we got up around the Puerto Rico trench area? A couple of earthquakes up here. That's early this morning. And a fairly recent one there. I do like to watch this area here because it does have some... Um, uh, mega quake potential but for now seismograph stations out there uh, pretty quiet I don't see any uh, major earthquake activity showing up on any of these we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the uh, Thursday morning update enjoy the rest of your night uh, I'm gonna get some sleep here hopefully we'll see you guys soon